We had a jam-packed Sunday night baseball game against the Yankees and the Mets, and in the bottom of the sixth inning, Wandy goes with a little hesitation change-up, and Lindor says, don't care, home run, extends the Mets lead by one. That lady's dancing because she wore the perfect shirt, and as he rounds the bases, he yells at all the Yankees and says, stop whistling. Put your whistle in your pocket and shut up about it. And everyone's like, wait, what's going on? And then he turns to the pitcher, Wandy, and says, yeah, you. And Wandy says, oh, hi, hello, hello. Do we know each other? And he high fives that dude. And then he's going to turn to Wandy again. And he's just going to keep yelling at him, saying, stop your whistling. Cut your whistling. Thankfully, we had some reporters give us a lot of background on this. Shout out Marley Rivera. I love Marley. The reporting comes from her and Buster. Jonathan VR thought that the Yankees were using a whistle to identify Taiwan Walker's pitches the game before. VR believed that Walker was tipping his pitches and the Yankees picked up on it. So not that they were cheating with cameras or technology, but that Walker was tipping his pitches. The Yankees dug out, figured it out, and was whistling to the batter as the tell. She goes on to say, VR told Lindor about it, which is why apparently he did the whistling gesture. Several Yankees said the culprit is Wandy Peralta. He's the one that whistles. He was the one on the mound. He's the one Lindor's yelling at as he rounds the bases. He apparently whistles all the time. Joey Gallo even said the whistle hurts his ears. Yankees also said it has nothing to do with tipping pitches. And there is some suspect stuff, so we're going to dive in to all the tipping here. But just to remind you, on November 14th, 2019, I told everyone I was retired from whistle listening. I said, I don't think it's worth trying to listen to whistles. There are so many whistles when you try to just listen for whistles. I'm retiring from whistle listening. But here I am listening to whistles. If there's a whistle gate ever happens again, do not tweet at me. I'm not listening to any more whistles. It sucks. But there are some very suspect whistles at suspect times in this game. Here's one of them when backup catcher Kyle Higashioka takes a 1-2 fastball out of the zone deep off of Taiwan Walker the night before. Two days. How many pair of shoes? So that <laughs> high fastball, bam, it's gone. Listen to it again. Two days. How many pair of shoes? There you go. Whistle. He swings at the fastball, jumps all over it, even though it's out of the zone. Home run. A little bit suspect that he was all over that pitch. It's a high fastball. So let's go into the second inning because the story is Taiwan Walker had a really bad second inning. The Yankees just lit him up. They hit three home runs. They were all over him. And then he settled down after VR at a mound visit and he retired 13 straight. So I went into the footage. Here we go. All right, so here's a look at my editing timeline. I have every pitch from the second inning that Walker throws here. This is when the Yankees hit him pretty hard. And Lindor and VR say they were whistling to signal pitches. Here's how it looks. If the pitch is up here, that means it's a fastball. If it's down here, that means it's an off-speed pitch. If it's red, that means I don't hear any whistling. If it's green, that means I hear some whistling. If it's yellow, it means maybe I hear some whistling, but who the hell knows what kind of whistle it is because if you really listen during a baseball game, there's just nonstop whistling. People just love to whistle. All right, so let's start with the first pitch. It's a fastball to Glaber. Fastball, top row. Red, I don't hear any whistling. You guys may hear things that I don't hear. I'm not an expert on this. I'm just trying to make sense of it all for all of us. Here we go. By a very special guest. I know he was part of our... Fastball takes it. Didn't look like he knew it was a fastball coming. Looks like he's reacting to the pitch. No whistle. Game Frank Siller, folks. There's Joe Buck and Frank Siller. Here's one ripped into left field. So then then he gets a curveball. There's no whistle, and he jumps on it. Folks, uh, the right information. Here's one ripped into left field. All right, next batter, we got Gio Urshela. He's going to open him up with an off-speed pitch. I got no whistle on this. I understand, you know, the tragedy that happened back in the 9-11, uh, back in 2000. But just to nice be pitch. part of willing. Next pitch. Here we go. We got a whistle. Willing to run into a Very situation. Faint. That Is that from the dugout? The crowd? I don't know. Start the raise, and then it kind of helped us to be more involved in the game. But it really we was kind of like going through the motions initially. You know, you just said a good, funny thing that hit the point. It's like, as players, the fans. So that was during a pickoff play. And as you can tell, there's just nonstop whistling. I have no idea what that is, if it's a player, if it's anything. He was like a son to us. And um, he, uh, here's a line drive caught. 
That was a fastball that Gio Urshela swings at. But there's no whistle before it. Praised him. He was like a son to us. And um, he, uh, here's a line drive caught. Now here's the whole Higashioka at bat. And I already showed you this ends with a home run and a pretty loud whistle on the home run pitch. So here's the first fastball of the at bat. You know, when we just lost the uh, 13 great Americans. No loud whistle there. Here's the second pitch of the at bat. It's going to be an off-speed pitch. When it comes pitch. right down to it, when America is under attack, we no whistle there. And now the third pitch, we're going to get a whistle. Because I originally was thinking of walking a much further. I mean that's so faint though, but you can hear a little whistling. Because I originally was thinking of walking a much further distance, and I was talking to a friend of mine. It's two days. How many pair of shoes did you? <laughs> and then you hear the faint whistle on the home run. So, I mean, there's four fastballs in the at-bat. Two had whistles, one, two didn't have whistles. I have no idea. How many pairs of shoes did you go? How do you feel physically after that? And now you have the pitcher up, Corey Kluber, and that's like one of the loudest whistles. <laughs> and that just cracks me up if they're giving tips to Corey Kluber about what's coming. How many pairs of shoes did you go? How do you feel physically after that? So a whistle on that fastball. Now another fastball is going to come. They're all fastballs. He's the pitcher, and there's no whistle on this one. All of a sudden, I'm up on top of the Blue Ridge Mountains walking. I'm Thank up 3,000. Now we're going to get a whistle again. Walked eight miles with me up, up, up the mountain. And that's another whistle on that fastball. He does not own vegetables and stuff. It, it gives back. So we built specially adapted smart homes for our country's most catastrophically injured service members. We have no so that was four fastballs to Corey Kluber. Two had whistles, two didn't. Nothing to do with this part. I'm definitely going to get online and, and join that cause. Fastball to DJ LeMahieu, no whistle there. It's your cause. This game on national television tonight. That there was extra money in the... Fastball to DJ LeMahieu, no whistle there. Coffer, and I think you were driving and said, Frank, we're donating a million dollars to the cause. Yes. Fastball to DJ, no whistle there beforehand. There's like a slight whistle in the crowd after he swings, it sounds like. Donating a million dollars to the cause. Yes, a million dollars. I just found out about a million dollars. I said, you know what that does? Do you know how many families that helps? Another fastball to DJ, no whistle there. And uh, I, I, I just, you know, Fox has been a whole new audience to us that might not know about the work that we're doing, so... Fastball and the faintest whistle there, as you can see, I put it in yellow. A whole new audience to us that might not know about the work that we're doing, so we couldn't be more willing. Now we got an off-speed pitch coming, a slider. Died, right, John? Yes. For you and for you and for me. So we can meet, hit me in the chest. Another said, one. Hey, Frank, will you do something? <laughs> will you and he hits the second one, but there's no whistles on either. So, you know, this first slider, there was no whistle. It was way outside. Then he brings it back in. DJ's 3-2, and he hits it. So no whistle there. All right, now we have Gardner. This at-bat ends up in a home run. Here's the first pitch. It's a fastball. Still loved ones for us. And, and I, I marked this down as no whistle, but now I kind of hear a whistle. Still loved ones for us. Right there. Still loved ones for us. But now, now I, I don't know, man. This I'm, one, uh, program. T2T.org. I can't think. Off speed pitch in the middle of the zone, no whistle. Myself, I've seen it firsthand, and uh, all, all Americans. So, this is the home run. There's whistles. You can hear two whistles, but it's not a fastball like the other home run whistles. It's an off speed pitch. Myself, I've seen it firsthand, and uh, all, all Americans. And he hits a homer. Move on to the next at bat. We got Aaron Judge up. He's going to get three off-speed pitches in a row. All three don't have whistles as far as I could tell when I made this. Uh, uh, beautifully, it's a tribute to both teams, both the Mets and both the Yankees. Resilient, and uh, we proved it after 9-11, and uh, we'll continue to prove it. It's been resolved, and now a 2-0 pitch is on its way to judge. And this is when they have the mound visit, and VR comes out because he says he heard whistling. But I didn't hear any in that judge at bat. But he says this, you know, the, apparently this is the mound visit where he says, hey, they have your pitches. They're whistling to let the batter know. Pitching coach doesn't even say anything. It's all VR. VR. And then Lindor says something. He's going to give a hand motion. Maybe you're tipping your change up. I have no idea. And then the, the next pitch to judge is a fastball, and you can hear a little whistle. The ball's in a strike. Two out. Two two-run homers in the inning. Now two I swing up. Here. 
to judge. And there, okay, so now it's uh, now it's not a fastball, and there's a whistle at the beginning of this one. Here to judge. He went with the slider. Judge really struck. Nope. And now he's going to get another. Putty on four runs home here in the second, and oh, a foul ball by Judge. That's a dangerous proposition. Three two. Oh. <laughs> and a home run. This is the changeup that runs into the back. And then for Judge, I really think he was. And certainly the location wasn't where you wanted. So that was like a loud one right there, right? To, to Stan. And certainly the location wasn't where you wanted it. And that's a changeup. It's not a fastball. And he got the whistle. So, man, as you can probably tell from my voice, I don't. No, I don't think anyone knows. Uh, some of those I marked as whistles, and now I can't hear them. And some I marked as no whistles, and now I can hear them. And then, dude, it's a, I'm, I'm back in whistle retirement. I wish this upon no one. I hate that I did it. <laughs> it sucks. Just listening for whistles drives me fucking crazy. The rest of this video is awesome, though. It's more entertaining than that. But everyone's been asking, you're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. I did it. I regret it. I don't think we've proven a thing here. The whistles come at fastballs. They come at off speed. They come here. They come during pickoffs. They're just people whistling. <whistles> Nonstop. Nonstop whistles. But here's where it gets fun. Stan comes up in the top of the seventh with a runner on second base. The first pitch he's going to see but from Brad Hand ball is a part of the storyline with Stanton having a fastball outside. Here. No whistle. The second pitch that he sees. Three whistles and then an absolute bomb here. Watch it again. Listen again. To tie the game six apiece. And as he rounds the bases, he's got something he wants to say. Oh, doors pumped up. Always over the railing. He's a first over the railing guy at all times. As he rounds second base, he looks at Lindor and he says, don't be talking shit. Hey, don't be talking shit. And Lindor says, hey, no. It's just it's just a whistling, man. No, I don't mind. I'm not mad at you. It's just come on, that whistle. Pff, no, none of that. Come on. We're good. Don't beat me up. We're really good. Come on. It's good. I'm fine. It's just I don't like that whistling. And Cole says, "Oh, I'm talking, talking, <laughs> talking." And he jumps the railing, <laughs> and then Stanton runs, and he touches home plate, and it's a tie game. And then everyone came on, and now. Now Lindor's got his buddy with him, and uh, Lindor's telling him, oh, yeah, talk, 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 go away. And Baez is saying, oh, yeah, talk, 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 come out. So Lindor's saying go away, and Baez is saying, why don't you come out here? So they're on different pages for being so in sync. And then it's just nothing. Stan's kind of just taking a deep breath, getting over it, and Baez is saying, why don't you talk, come out here? And Gardner, he says, boo. Why don't you go boo yourselves? And Mike Harkey, the bullpen coach, is like, this sucks. I, was, I don't want to come out. Stan comes back out. Judge comes back out, and he's like, what is all this about? I was taking a nice nap, and now I'm here. And then everyone just mingles in the middle and does nothing. And then that's the oddest combination of people I would have ever guessed to see walking wrapped around each other back to the outfield. I would have lost that bet. Now Stan's just smiling and laughing and having a good time because he hit the game-tying home run. He feels good about that. And then it was all silly and stuff. And then Doris just say, no, 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 we're good. We're good. We're good. Don't even worry about it. No, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. And everything was fine because Lindor comes up in the bottom of the eighth inning. He already has two home runs in this game. It's a tied game. The stadium's ready to explode. He takes this next pitch, the 2-0 fastball, and bombs it off Chad Green to give the Mets the lead and eventually win the game. And he just flexes his muscles this time. No screaming, no yelling. Stanton's like, oh, shit, that sucks. And then they're going crazy in Queens. It was a wild scene. I was there. This guy's all jazzed up, giving all sorts of finger moments. Me, me, peace, peace. Oh, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, scary.
So this concludes the video about the Yankees and the Mets and the whistling. Were the Yankees whistling to tip pitches? I don't know. And I spent about as much time as anyone trying to figure it out. Stop whistling at baseball games. You make it really hard to find out if teams are whistling with a purpose when you're just whistling all willy-nilly. Some of us can't whistle like that. That makes us sad because it's a cool skill to have. And anyone that can't do it that says they don't want to be able to do it is a liar.